G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Well, this is one I've been waiting for for a while. This is the Marvel Select Captain America Civil War figure. Uh, it was meant to come out about a couple of months ago and I think it got delayed. And it's uh, taken a little while to get to the shores of Australia, but we have finally seen it arrive. I think there's a couple of YouTube videos up there uh, already, so hopefully I'm not missing the boat by too far. But anyway, uh, I'll hold it up there so you can read the background. If you want to have a read, you can hit pause now. Uh, and we'll have a quick look at the packaging and then get into the figure. So let's have a look at the box. So the stock standard Marvel Select packaging. You can see you've got your, your clear skin there. Captain America down the side. Nice shot of Chris from the movie. And then spin it around. And you can see the pose of the action figure. Uh, it does have uh, two other figures in the line. You've got Iron Man and Winter Soldier. And if you collect them all, you can create the Avengers base, which is actually quite a nice one, probably to display all your Avengers figures on, uh, if you've got it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of the Iron Man figure or the Winter Soldier, so I won't be collecting them, but um, I'm pretty sure someone else out there will and line up all their Avenger figures. But that's enough of the box. Let's get on to the figure. Now, uh, a lot of the reviews, uh, the figure itself, um, talk about the accessories, but one of the big things I've got is, uh, with this figure is the paint chipping, and I'll get onto that in a minute. But let's have a quick look at the accessories comes with uh, six hands interchangeable so he's obviously got two hands plugged in already you've got uh, two fists there a left and a right and then sort of a saluting hand I uh, thought he was actually going to hold it so he could hold the shield out but unfortunately the shield doesn't stay too well in his hand I suppose you could use some uh, blue tack or if you were really keen to pose him with him uh, catching the shield you could probably glue it in if you liked um, you can already notice there on the, the shield there's a paint chip. Uh, this is pretty much stock standard for this entire figure. Every time you, uh, you move a joint or you, re you remove a hand, there's small flakes of paint come off. So my figure, unfortunately, is probably going to stand in the pose in which he's in there. Uh, the shield itself is very loose. Try and get it off his hand there if I can. Sorry, it's just hard with one hand. So you can see there he grips on. To in there. Now I have seen a couple of videos where people have tried to just get it on his hand a little bit better and they've ended up snapping the straps off so knowing the, uh, the time I've had to wait to get this figure I'm not going to try and do that but uh, it just simply goes on there but it's very loose so if you uh, want to get him holding the shield up you literally have to try and balance it into position because uh, the simple little touch and the, uh, the shield will dip and spin and uh, bob around so it's uh, a little bit uh, slack there I think on behalf of uh, Marvel Select but I suppose when you dominate the market you can pump out sort of low standard stuff and, and people will still buy it so but there having a look at the figure uh, the face sculpt is fantastic it looks really nice I like the detail on the top of the head I don't mind the uh, the paint work there there's nothing really too too glitchy on mine you've got the uh, Avengers logo down there the shoulder on both sides on the back there you've got the brace I really hoped they would have uh, allowed us to uh, connect the shield some way into the back of the figure but unfortunately not moving down the back there so you do have articulation in the ankles in the knees I believe there's meant to be swivel in the thighs there but mine just doesn't swivel at all it's it's just rock solid I don't know if it's stiff um, or it's just meant to be that way but again it's uh, not something I want to force. You can see I've even got a gap in mine. So it looks like the joint doesn't even um, close properly. So again, you can uh, do the splits with the, the cap figure. So his legs do come out. You can see the joint there. Uh, you know, a nice torso joint. The belt's loose, so it can spin around. There's no holster. So obviously cap's not carrying any weapons. But the, the paint detail is nice. I like the star on the, on the chest. But the head sculpt uh, is really nice. This is it. Oh, sorry, try and zoom in there for you. Gone out of focus. But uh, all in all, um, a nice little figure. It's great for the Avengers set, but uh, it's just disappointing that the, the paint chipping that occurs if you uh, try and insert any of the, the, uh, the accessories and, and even the detailing on the figures there. You can see the fingers there. You've got brown paint splotched through it all. So it's just almost like it's a bit of a rush job rather than, than doing some quality and you can clearly see the paint chip there on the shield. The shield itself is quite nice, uh, it's not as big as the um, Winter Soldier Captain America, but uh, it's a nice size to go with the figure. But anyway, thanks for watching, um, stay around, I've got to do a review of King 
Thor, uh, the Builder Figure series set. I've also got Barbarian Hulk, which is uh, one of my favorite figures. And I'm also got the, uh, the knockoff or bootleg of the Iron Man Marvel Now Kotobakia Art FX figure. So uh, hang around for that one as well. But anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Cheers.